In this problem, you are using what you've learned about the metric system in the chapter to solve a basic chemistry problem using dimensional analysis. The problem you are solving is this. If 1,890 milliliters of orange juice is prepared from orange juice concentrate, how many liters of orange juice is that? In order to solve this problem, you use the problem solving steps explained in your textbook. Recall that the four steps are, state the given and needed quantities, Write a plan to convert the given unit to the needed unit, state the equalities and conversion factors, and set up the problem to cancel units and calculate the answer. The first step in solving a problem is stating the given and needed quantities. So what's given to you in this problem? In the problem, you are told that you have 1,890 milliliters of orange juice. What are you looking for? The problem is asking you to determine how many liters of orange juice you have. To summarize step one, here's what you know, what you are given, and here's what you don't know, what you need to find. The second step is to write a plan to convert the given unit to the needed unit. What is that plan? You know that you have an amount in milliliters, and you need to find that amount in liters. As you learned in the text, in order to go from one to the other, you use a conversion factor. Step three involves figuring out the conversion factor you need to use. What is the conversion factor? In the chapter, it was stated that 1,000 milliliters is equal to one liter. You can write this equality in two different ways so that you solve the problem using the dimensional analysis. You can write a fraction with 1,000 ml on the top and 1L on the bottom, or the other option is to write a fraction that is the inverse of what you've just written. 1L over 1,000 ml. The last step in solving a problem is to set up the problem to cancel units and calculate the answer. To set the problem up, remember where you're starting from, the 1,890 ml of orange juice. You can write this as another fraction, 1,890 ml over one. The reason why you write this fraction with one underneath is to keep everything tidy. Since you're going to write the next step as a fraction, it's a pretty good idea to write this one as a fraction as well. It makes solving the problem more straightforward. Now it's time to add the conversion factor from step three. You need ML to cancel out because 1,890 ML is on the top of the first fraction. Which of the two conversion factor options will allow you to cancel out ML? The answer is B. One L over 1000 ml. Because ml is on the top of one fraction and the bottom of the other, you can cancel them out. So now you have a straightforward division problem. 1890 times 1 divided by 1 times 1000 or 1890 divided by 1000. The answer is 1.89 liters.